see this every day, but they never see the writers doing it. You're secluded off in some kind of cubicle where no one can see you. Or maybe they can see your feet. Or they can hear you. <laughs> but you have a, a privacy, a certain privacy within a public space that's shared. I think they feel like, because there are lots of people coming through that space, that their anonymity is protected. They probably stop writing as soon as they sense somebody is entering so that they're not caught. Sometimes I think it's, it's humor. They're trying to see how outrageous they can be. Sometimes I think they're being personal and they're revealing something about themselves that they would not reveal publicly because they're protected by the anonymity. I don't think it's distinctive to our culture. I think it's probably fairly universal that people write in bathrooms and write graffiti around the world. I was just taking a lot of dumps on campus and um, I'd have to know where to take a dump. And like really there's no resource for that. Like no one can tell you where the best spots are. So it's probably a period of about two or three months where I would poop in a different place every day and try to gather my surroundings. You know, I'd like take my laptop in and just like, you know, check it out, write down everything I could about it. It's like a vlog. The people who are interested in UNC Pooper are probably the same people who would write on bathroom walls. I think there's no mistake about that one. Man, I love writing on like the toilet paper dispensers. And then the guys are like, nah, like it's all about the wall. You can't write on the tile unless you want to, I mean, you can just wipe that off pretty easily. So people like take little pens or pencils and just like write in the grout. You don't see so much like anarchy, fuck the system shit in the grout. Usually it's like, I want a, like a, a steaming hot cock, like, and then a phone number. Like, that's usually what you see in the grout that I've noticed. You wouldn't count on like your uh, Captain America type, probably be, you know, maybe an outsider, a renegade, social maverick, that type of thing. When you come across something that you find personally funny that you know pertains to a smaller group of people, those are the bathroom gold. That's what you're out looking for. When you see that someone's put time into that or thought into it, and it's, it's an individual statement, I mean, it should be appreciated, even if it isn't a bathroom, I think. You'll go into Phillips and you'll see math jokes and you'll see physics jokes, leaps and bounds from your usual sex jokes. It's because math and physics students go there. It's the community that sort of makes that bathroom whatever that graffiti ends up being. The things that people write on the bathroom walls are things that people are seeking out to talk about. Obviously, the things that you're gonna read on there rarely are ever beautiful poems. No, they're about, oh my gosh, I think I might have an STD. Will someone please confirm? Here are my symptoms. They're expelling waste from their body. And you can say that technically the graffiti you find in bathroom is expelling waste from the mind, getting rid of whatever we have going on in our head that we know we probably shouldn't be thinking about. I've been here 15 years, when I'm 16. All they need is fingernail polish, paint, or whatever. If they want to write on, they will write on. I think they want to express themselves, but the bathroom wall is the wrong place to do it because it's too much work and some of the stuff they write might not be pleasing to some people because you can easily offend people and hurt people's feelings. It is a form of vandalism and I'm not going to say it's not going to happen and I hope it don't happen, but so far it hasn't. Not on my watch. I've done it maybe once or twice just doodling on different fixtures in the bathroom. I don't feel bad about it or like I don't really consider it vandalism. There, there's no possibility of anyone seeing you writing it. You don't even necessarily have something to say in any substantial way. You just have the desire to deface a wall. People would write something and then respond. I feel like the anonymity of it allows for a very different type of communication than you get anywhere else. You're communicating with complete strangers and I feel like there's something attractive about that. I never really paid attention to it that much because I just thought it was kind of juvenile. But once I got to college, I started noticing more profound messages. No one can avoid using the bathroom no matter how old you are or what walk of life you're in. So the fact that everyone sees what you've written, I think gives bathroom writers a sense of gratification. I've seen messages on 
bathroom stall doors saying, stop throwing up your food or, you know, just confessions. And it kind of makes you empathize with the person who wrote it, but you can't help them. So I think it's an outlet. What it says about our culture is that if you can't find means of expression through quote unquote legitimated venues, then this provides an outlet for people who, for whatever reason, don't want to use those.